Welcome back to another episode of The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. I'm Alex. And I'm Emma. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's been at the forefront of global health discussions, long COVID. Also known as post-acute sequelae of SARS-CoV-2 infection, or PASC, long COVID refers to a complex condition where symptoms persist long after the initial COVID-19 infection has resolved. This isn't just lingering fatigue, we're talking about neurological, cognitive, and cardiovascular challenges that can be debilitating. Exactly, Emma. Millions of people around the world are grappling with these long-term effects, making it essential to understand the multifaceted nature of long COVID. What's especially concerning is how it can affect so many different parts of the body. Everything from brain fog and cognitive impairments, to heart issues, and even psychological disorders. Recent research has shed some light on this. Studies have shown that the neurological effects of long COVID may overlap with neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. For instance, abnormal brain activity measured through EEGs is common among COVID-19 survivors, indicating potential long-term cognitive decline. That's a critical point, Emma. In fact, a systematic review highlighted that these abnormal EEG patterns, like increased slow wave activity and reduced alpha rhythms, suggests that long COVID might trigger or accelerate neuroinflammatory processes. This could lead to cognitive decline similar to what we see in Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. And it's not just adults who are at risk. Pediatric populations aren't exempt either. Many children and adolescents are reporting persistent symptoms as well. One study involving over 5,000 young people found that prolonged symptoms like neurocognitive issues, pain, and gastrointestinal symptoms are common among those with a history of COVID-19. That's concerning, especially since misperceptions about the rarity of pediatric long COVID could lead to underdiagnosis and undertreatment. The psychological impacts on children and adolescents are also significant with increased reports of anxiety and depression correlating with the persistence of physical symptoms. This makes it clear that long COVID is a condition that healthcare providers need to monitor closely, especially in different populations. Tailored approaches to managing these challenges are essential. For example, individuals who experienced more severe acute COVID-19 symptoms are at a higher risk for developing persistent cognitive deficits. This underscores the need for ongoing cognitive assessments in COVID-19 survivors. And the cardiovascular effects of long COVID are just as concerning. Emerging evidence indicates that those recovering from COVID-19 may face a range of heart-related complications, including myocardial injury, heart failure, arrhythmias, and vascular injury. A study in Switzerland even found that a significant percentage of hospitalized COVID-19 patients reported persistent symptoms four months after discharge. Interestingly, the study found that women and those who had longer hospitalizations were more likely to report ongoing issues, particularly with cardiovascular health. This highlights the need for targeted interventions and comprehensive cardiovascular assessments for individuals recovering from COVID-19. Early intervention could help mitigate the risk of long-term complications. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the healthcare workers. A recent study from Boston involving healthcare professionals revealed that nearly 73% reported experiencing long COVID symptoms that lasted beyond 28 days. These are the people on the front lines, and the long-term impact on their health cannot be overstated. That's a staggering figure, Alex. Healthcare workers with long COVID reported lower quality of life alongside heightened levels of depression, anxiety, and stress. This underscores the need for targeted support and mental health resources for healthcare professionals. Their well being is crucial as they continue to navigate the ongoing challenges of the pandemic. Given all these findings, it's clear that long COVID isn't just a temporary setback. It's a long-term health challenge that demands comprehensive research and standardized clinical assessments. There's also a pressing need to understand the underlying biological mechanisms driving these neurological, cognitive, and cardiovascular symptoms. One proposed tool for assessing cognitive decline is EEG monitoring. By identifying common pathophysiological features between long COVID and neurodegenerative diseases, researchers could pave the way for targeted therapeutic interventions. And as the healthcare landscape evolves, it's vital to implement tailored interventions that consider the diverse manifestations of long COVID across different age groups and populations. And this brings us to the herbal remedies segment. 
For those dealing with the cognitive and cardiovascular impacts of long COVID, natural remedies can offer significant support. Let's start with neurological and cognitive support. One key ingredient is ginkgo biloba. It's renowned for enhancing cerebral blood flow, which can improve cognitive function and alleviate symptoms like brain fog. Bacopa monieri, or brahmi, is another powerful herb that enhances memory and cognitive processing by supporting synaptic communication. Lion's mane mushroom is also worth mentioning. It promotes nerve growth factor synthesis, which supports neuronal growth and cognitive health. Curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, offers potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. It can modulate neuroinflammatory pathways implicated in long COVID, supporting cognitive health, and reducing astrocytic reactivity. For cardiovascular support, Hawthorne is widely used for its heart health benefits, including improving circulation and managing blood pressure. Garlic is another key player, known for lowering blood pressure and cholesterol levels, which is especially important for those at risk of cardiovascular complications post-COVID. Immune modulation is critical as well. Astragalus is a powerful immune booster, and Echinacea supports immune function while also offering antiviral benefits. These herbs help strengthen the body's resilience during the long-term recovery from COVID-19. And let's not overlook the psychological impacts. St. John's work can help manage depression and anxiety, which are common among long COVID sufferers. Adaptogens like ashwagandha and rhodiola support adrenal function and improve stress resilience, which is crucial for those in long-term recovery. Now it's important to use these herbs effectively. Start with lower doses and adjust based on your response. And remember, Always consult a healthcare provider, especially if you're on other medications or have pre existing conditions. Quality is also essential. Opt for organic and sustainably sourced products to ensure you're getting the full benefits. Combining these natural remedies with healthy lifestyle practices, like maintaining a regular sleep schedule and reducing stress, can significantly enhance their effectiveness. In conclusion, Long COVID is a profound and complex health crisis that extends beyond the acute phase of infection. With millions of survivors reporting ongoing symptoms, it's clear that long COVID represents not just a temporary setback, but a long-term health challenge that requires a comprehensive and tailored approach to care. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this episode has provided valuable insights into long COVID and how natural remedies can support your health journey. For more information, visit herbalbloom.org and don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time on the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies.